Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Discovery Let's Play. And let's see here, since I have the... Nah, not bad. Wow, I can use this at this level. Let's get the prototype exploration cruiser. Which is, uh... For, uh, this thing. Let's get the... Starter pack like that I have reclaimed. Go ahead and get these weapons and everything. I don't use not like tardigrades. Let's take this stuff over here. Because as soon as we beam up, we're we'll gonna be changing ships. Our <clears> victory <throat> at Prior's World was hard fought, and we took a thrashing in the process. We've gained some momentum from this win, but our position at Priors could become tenuous if the Klingon should return for a rematch. Captain Gabriel Lorca of the USS Buran is on station at Priors World, and he's requested assistance while they handle mop-up operations there. I believe you and your crew are ready for action, yes? Lorca is a fine captain, tough but fair, with years of experience in the field. Follow his lead and you'll do well. Report to him at Priors World for further instructions. Kensington out. I have a mission for you. Alright. Let's beam up. And swap ships. Alright, let's see here. To the buffalo. Now let's go ahead and get this in route. How we fix all this stuff. Well, I'm pretty sure when you skip the tutorial, it gives you two beams that are of uh, rare, uncommon, I mean, rare quality, rare, ugh, uncommon in this. Alright, here we go, let's take care of that, let's go to stations, and don't have another person for it, okay. Let's go over to F12, I don't know about this big gap right there, the gap reappeared. There he goes. And let's, this is a cruiser, but at this early in the level, I mean... I don't really see it making much of a difference. Or at least it don't to me because you can't really. You don't have, you don't really have cannons. So the last time I played through this, I had like a single disruptor cannon up right there. So that way I could get more uh, accolades from damage stuff. Hopefully sooner. And it really annoys me you can't get rid of this stuff in the Replicator had to go and click in and visually discard on it. I don't like that. And most importantly, auto fire. How far away are we? Alright, we're almost there. And we are getting closer.
I really wish that uh, these went faster than Warp 5 in the beginning. Alright, let's begin. The probability of the possible. Now, and in process system, alright. This is the USS Cicada. Switch to frequency 228.7 to adjust for ion storm interference. Let's do this quickly. This is the Shinano. Advise keeping shields up. Cloaked Thanks. Klingon vessels are still testing our defenses. I skipped it, dang it. Lowering shields now. We are ready to receive supplies. What kind of shit Engineering is has confirmed that all expected hardware has been delivered. Thank you. We shall begin repairs at once. Our computer systems have received significant damage from Klingon assaults. <clears throat> I believe the Baran is waiting for you to report in, so I will keep you no longer. I wish you might. This is Commander here. Ellen Landry of the USS Baran. Welcome to Pryor's world. The captain has requested that you transport over to the Baran to speak in person. Truth be told, we're not certain our hailing frequencies are completely secure. It's, uh, it's a long story. Let's just say the Klingons had a few tricks up their sleeve during battle. All right, let's go. Oh wait, I forgot, I am an engineering officer in this. <laughs> I snake the last one. Yeah. Nice to finally meet you face to face. I'm Captain Gabriel Lorca. Welcome to the Baran. This is my first officer, Commander Ellen Landry. Sorry to hear about Captain Schaefer. He was one of our best. Agreed. A damn fine captain. Though from what we've heard about what happened at Corvan, his ship's in good hands. Ah, and my somewhat tardy Chief of Security. On the Patel. Uh, apologies, Captain. Welcome aboard. We appreciate the assistance. Engineering is this way, if you'll follow me. What took you so long? <sighs> you tried booking a reception hall during prime wedding season. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. My warrior. Braver than a hundred Klingons. Kapla! We better catch up. Uh, before the captain throws us in the brig with the Klingons. We've been mopping up here after our scrap with the Klingons. The Klingons did not surrender Pryor's world lightly. Cleaning up the planet-based missile launchers was satisfying. The Baran is currently holding some Klingon prisoners of war. Prisoners we plan to deliver to Cut secure rolling location disabled. before we ran into a snag. Welcome Lieutenant aboard. Kerwin. Thanks for lending us. I in. have someone I'd like you Mind to meet. I'm taking a look at something here. I'm analyzing some issues with the Baran's critical systems, and a fresh perspective might shed some light. Somehow the Klingons infected our computer systems with a particularly <clears throat> nasty virus during the battle. Another house Mokai trick, by the looks of it. It's in several key systems: sensors, shields, weapons. Ugh. Right now, we can't rely on any of those remaining at operational status. If they come back for a rematch, we could wind up blind and defenseless. Excellent. All right. We collected a lot of sensor data on their cloaking operations during the fight. It could give us an edge in future battles. But that's only if we have reliable sensors, which we currently do not. Hopefully, that's about to change. All right, and then scrub the sensors. All right, where are the sensors at? So I can take a brush and scrub them. Okay, looks like the virus is out of the sensors. Let's turn them on. Look, I can roll now and run. virus came back when the sensors came up. Ugh, let's try again. Tweak the firewall. <clears throat> what the? 
We just lost port deflectors. Bridge to Captain. Klingon vessels decloaking. Lork at a bridge. I'm on my way. Captain, internal sensors show multiple Klingon transporter signals in your vicinity. All hands, repel borders. <clears throat> I don't know about you all, but I think that the Enterprise TV show and this series looks more futuristic than like the next generation and the ones that are based more in the future. I'm not sure why I always thought that. Lorca to bridge. We need those shields back. Do what you can to keep our port side away from the Klingons. Curly, <clears throat> I want you to head up there and give them a hand with the shields. No, I think it's time we went on the offensive. Landry, Patel, lead the way. Chief, get us to the armory. On it. Captain to sick bay, we have wounded on deck 17. We're on our way, Captain. Take one of these phaser rifles. We just finished modifications on them from data we gathered during the Priors world fighting. <laughs> the Klingons are in for a little surprise. What makes it so Captain. different? The Klingons hit the brig and released their buddies. Looks like they're heading toward the shuttle bay. They're gonna make a break for it, sir. I right, changed out the wrong one. Lorca to bridge, acknowledged. We're en route. Chapev, Landry, Patel, take the lead. <clears throat> Everyone else, you're with me. Let's move. And yep, I take the lead. I can never fail. See, the hundred Klingons are. Cover me. Uh, Dell, give me a hand with this. Uh, there's no time. Captain, you need to go. That's not how we operate, Commander. We don't leave people behind. It's clear. Help her. Thought I lost you there. Fortunately, the captain had other ideas. Nice shot back there. Glad you had our backs. We need to move. Can you stand? Mm. No, I'll manage. It's not as bad as it looks. That not as bad as it looks. <clears throat> Although I don't know how it's on how it's hurting her shoulder when laying on her legs. So. Shuttle bay access is blocked, and the hangar doors are starting to open. That damn on the virus again. <clears throat> Bridge, this is the captain. Prepare the tractor beam. In case we fail. Viking damage detected. Damn, it's even in the door systems. I'll handle this. Bam! Got it! Let's go into aiming mode. This is excellent damage there. Not today. Not on my ship. Change of plan. Kill the captain. Dead. You'll have to get to me first. Lorca at a bridge. The prisoners are secure. Give me a status report. Sir, the Klingon vessels just went under cloak. They'll be back. I'll try to show the show. Count on it. 
that a hole in the door? We need to get the Klingon prisoners secured. Unfortunately, our holding facilities here are compromised. Under the circumstances, I think we'll need to transfer the prisoners to your ship. I think you'll agree we can't risk dropping our shields to use the transporters. You'll have to take a shuttle. It's a little old-fashioned, but if the Klingons are here to rescue their people, they won't risk firing on you. Your ship, on the other hand, will be a target. Be ready for anything. All right. All right. These Klingons wanted to ride shuttle. in a shuttle. Load them up. My team will handle the prison transfer to your vessel. I'll have our security chief contact yours to sort out the details. Excellent. Are you ready to finish boarding procedures and head out? Good. You made it. I'm afraid I have some bad news. We're picking up some photon decay heading our way. My people believe it's coming from cloaked Klingon vessels, and I'm inclined to agree. Get ready for a fight. It's so annoying how I take these off, but yet they just pop back up anyway. Nice work, Captain. Looks like the Klingons aren't finished with the supplier's world. Glad you were in the neighborhood. Things could have gone pear-shaped if you weren't. I'm sure that'll look good in your after-action report. Might put a little dent in my sterling reputation, but I'll manage. That said, we're not out of the woods just yet. I'll let my first officer fill you in on the details. This is Landry. As you've seen, the Baran is needed here at Pryor's world. And her brig is no longer secure. I'm afraid your ship is going to have to facilitate this prison transfer. The destination is classified, I'm afraid. I have the coordinates in a secure device, which, with your permission, I'll bring aboard with my team. I don't disagree, Captain, but we're at war. Things have a tendency to get irregular in situations like this. Some of our prisoners are high-ranking members of the House Mokai. The secrets they know are important to the Klingons, even more so to Starfleet. We need to get them into a high-security facility as soon as we can. I'd like to send Commander Landry and a team with you to assist on this. Call it a joint effort. But it's still your ship and your command. Agreed? Oh, and one last thing. Landry's on loan. She's a damn fine officer and one of a kind. I do expect her back intact as soon as you're done, Captain. 
The shuttle, on the other hand, you can keep. We got plenty of those. I only have one shuttle. My team is on board, Captain. With your permission, I'll take the helm for this trip. I know the way, after all. All right, let's go. I like the warping effect on this the discovery. That light lights up the whole ship. We've arrived at the, the coordinates, cell. Captain. It's We're it. being hailed. Your presence in this system is unexpected. Transmit secure clearance codes now. Await and transfer of codes. I should remind you that all of our defense systems are active, Captain. Vosker out. That he did, Captain. Shall I transmit the security clearance codes? Transmitting initial sequence now. Lieutenant Kerwin, begin beta security code transmission on my mark. Mark. Very much so, Captain. Possibly more than they enjoy oxygen and comfortable socks. <clears throat> oxygen transmission and comfortable complete. socks? What? This You're cleared for approach. Proceed yeah. to the following coordinates and prepare for prisoner transfer via shuttlecraft. Do, 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 do. A word, if you please. It's about Warden Vosker. I've served with him before, and there are some things about his character you should be aware of. Serving here allows Vosker to use methods and practices that would not fly on a starship. Some of his morals are fluid, perhaps dangerously so. Look, I'm not sure what Starfleet Command knows about him, but he still has command of the facility. Permission to speak freely? There are those in Starfleet who are more focused on results than the cost of achieving those results. Vosker is such a man. The Admiralty didn't order these prisoners here by chance. They want Vosker to get results by any means necessary. That doesn't work for me, or Captain Lorca. The ends do not justify the means. I intend to make sure the price we pay here isn't too great. I don't want to look back on this day with regret, or worse. My team has the prisoners prepped for transfer. Are you ready to head to the facility? Welcome to Facility 2047. I'm Hadrian Vosker. Computer, update the log to finalize the transfer of prisoners to this facility. Authorization Vosker Sigma 9. We'll take it from here. A reminder, all data relating to this facility is classified. Now, if there's nothing else, I have a prison to run. Feel free to show yourselves out. Thank you. Hadrian, it's been a long time. Well, not long enough. Was there anything of substance you wish to discuss, or are we done here? As in, according to Starfleet regulations, Hadrian, not your own personal code of conduct. Listen, we don't have to like each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's an impossibility at this point. What we need to do is work together and upholding the ideals and laws of the Federation. Are you finished? Look. The Federation is the promise of a better future. I buy into that. Beautiful dream. And people love to talk about it. What nobody wants to talk about are the hard choices it takes to make that dream come true. Every day, the Klingons remind us, though. And we pay the price in blood, sweat, and tears. So unless you're ready to learn some hard truths, I suggest you return to your ship and move along. Yeah, why don't you show us everything you do here, Warden? Enlighten us. Show us how you're keeping the Federation safe from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Hey, we'll even take notes. Wonderful. The prisoners are being processed. I'm sure they're being treated well. 
better than the Klingons treated the innocent civilians of Pryor's world, for example. If you'll follow me. Johnson, give me a status report. Wrapping it up now, sir. Medical scans and contraband search all came back in the green. Warden, there's increased <coughs> comms from the Starfleet vessel stationed at Pryor's world. It sounds like there's another fight with the Klingons there. I'm uh, not sure. Sorry, the signal's garbled. Some sort of interference is breaking it up, and I'm just getting fragments. So far, it sounds like the trouble is on the planet's surface. We have our orders, and no distress signal is being sent. That being said, I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I were back on the Baran, Captain. I've got the feeling the Klingons are about to make another big push at Pryor's world. Fine. In the meantime, we have a job to do here. Johnson, put the Priority 2 prisoners into Genpop. I'll make sure our Priority 1 guest gets into MacSec where he belongs. Captain, Commander, let's get this over with. Got a nice cell waiting for you, Mokai. Move! I'm not sure leaving the prisoners here with him is wise, Commander. Hey, all of them are coming for once. What are you hens clucking about back there? Just wondering what you have in mind for our prisoners, Hadrian. Nothing the Admiralty hasn't authorized before. Johnson here. Operation reports a malfunction in primary systems and recommends a reboot. Johnson, contact engineering. Keep an eye on things until I'm finished. Oscar to engineering. The bridged isolation is acting up. Fix it now. Fine. Understood, sir. Wait. What the? Sir, the primary deflector grid just went offline. This seems like a very secure prison. You Look can out! Get down, you Try to jump over from that way. Johnson, die. Initiate full lockdown. Get those shields back up now. <clears throat> Johnson? Come in, Johnson! Damn, we lost Cobb! They're coming for you. Are you ready? Alright, let's get this over with. Chuck Chuck! <laughs> nice. Same to you, Potty Bach. Come on! Stupid piece of work, damn it! Problem, Hadrian? I can't get the bridge to extend. We need to think of an alternative. That didn't sound good. We need to get out of here right now! Let me help you! Hurry! We don't have time for this! Let him fall! He's just a Klingon! We are Starfleet! Since you've obviously forgotten, that is not how we operate. Whatever. Let's get moving. Gott, die Bach! I talked to him. I don't have time for this. If we can't put the prisoner in one of these cells, we'll have to take him back to processing. It's not ideal, but it'll do till we get things under control. All right, let's go. Let's stow this guy quickly. Relax. 
His new home's right over here. And he's gonna be here a very long time. I believe you have something that belongs to me. A car will be leaving with me. He's not going anywhere, lady. I'm gonna... Ha! You were saying? If only you had shields to block our transporters. Our paths cross once again. If only I had the time to end you. Like I ended your captain. You two know each other? Try to die well. Ketris, surely true! Wonderful. Do, 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 Cover do, do, me do, do, while I get the shields back online. Berwin, help him while we hold them off. Damn it. Get over here. Enemy. Yes. Enemy. I'm not mad. Two, I'm not. Three, I'm not mad. <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen so many mines blow up in this game until now. Literally. Damn it. Get over here and cover me! We are doing our job. What are you talking about? I can't get this done if they keep shooting me. You're the one who's prison running ready to handle this. I'd hold off on any celebrations. Long-range sensors are picking up a Klingon battle group, approaching at high warp. Without the turrets, they'll eventually knock our shields down and finish us off for good. Shit, it's only a matter of time. Lieutenant Kerwin can get those turrets back online. We just need to buy him enough time to get the job done. I mean, this isn't time for heroics. One ship against a Klingon fleet? That's suicide, and you know it. Oh, face it, we're done here. Let's get essential personnel to your ship, and get the hell out of here while we're able. Captain, the turret grid just came back online. Wait, oh no. That's bad. The turrets are scanning for Starfleet vessels. They've been set to see them as targets! It's that damned virus! It's just like what happened at Pryor's World. They turned our own defense grid against us, and then mopped up what was left after the chaos. How did a Klingon virus get into our system? Klingons didn't even know about this place until... Of course. Those clever bastards. It's a genetic sequencing virus. We did a full medical scan of the Klingon prisoners when we brought them aboard the Buran. And another one when they were brought aboard this facility. But...
unfortunately, or your ship would be dealing with the virus too. Somehow they've managed to embed it within the DNA of one or more of the prisoners. If we can identify the difference between the artificial and natural bases, we should be able to isolate the viral code and purge it from the system. Maybe five minutes? That's pretty clever though, <clears throat> putting a virus in your own DNA. I can't believe he got away. After all that we went through here, anything he does from here on out is on me. You shouldn't beat yourself up for doing the right thing here. Besides, if we get him and Jaula, we can just pretend it was all part of the plan, right? All right, all right. You win. But we still have a lot of work to do before, you know, we single-handedly end the war and get promoted to Fleet Admiral. So let's get up to your ship and go after them. All right, let's go. Yeah, I say all right, let's go a lot. Jaula to Tabrib, attach! We have what we need. Leave the prison for the rest. They are like a board unimatrix. Captain, one of the cl Starfleet vessel. You are outnumbered and unable to flee. If you wish your crew to survive, stand down and prepare to be boarded. Reviews, and we will give you all an honorable <coughs> death. A warrior's death, then. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. Perhaps we will meet face to face in glorious combat when I board your vessel to take it as my prize. All right, let's get. Let's see, let's stop and get out of red alert and let's put that on there. Increase our survivability chances. Thousand for Peter. Right. Thank you. Yes, we did it. The vent satellites are back on our side. Target shield. We've lost the advantage here. All ships with broad weapons. I thought Klingon didn't. Didn't work. Oh well, it's out of range.
video. Hello? Good news, Captain. Latest sensor reports show all Klingon vessels are either destroyed or retreating. Kerwin here. Captain, all systems are clear over here. Not reading any Klingon ships on sensors either. Did we do it? Captain, if it's all the same to you, I recommend we retrieve Lieutenant Kerwin and return to the Baran immediately. We haven't seen the last of Ja'ula and her forces, and there is a nasty digital virus still running wild in the Baran systems. Seeing as we have the solution to that little problem, I think it's high time we delivered it to Captain Lorca. <clears throat> Complete. All right. Sounds like the Klingons are making another push in that sector. Securing Cryer's world is of the utmost importance, so I want you to render assistance to the Baran as soon as possible. I'm sending other vessels in the region to join the effort, but until they arrive, the burden will fall on your shoulders alone. Good luck and Godspeed. Kensington out. Congratulations, Lieutenant. This Klingon and computer virus is giving me a bad feeling. With that, thank you all for watching. I didn't get any skill points from that. What? Any? What? You're kidding me. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share with friends. And drop a comment, a like, it'd be awesome. Hit the heart. Remember hit the heart, hit the bell icon. Anything else you want to see, let me know. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome. Goodbye. Catch you in the next one.